me, your girl, Alicia B. I'm coming back to you guys today with another tutorial. I've been really having this on my mind. I told you guys I was going to have a lot of tutorials coming in. It's not a lot. I really do. I have a whole lot of other things that I want to make on my channel and things that I want to talk to you guys about. Even I want to tell you guys more about my health condition because I feel like it's important for you guys to really know about my condition because it's very rare. It don't happen with young people and a lot of people think that I had a stroke, but that's not the case. I had a cyst on my spine, and they performed a Chiari malformation, which uh, I was going paralyzed on my left side, so that was supposed to alleviate a lot of the pressure so that I wouldn't end up paralyzed all over my whole body and end up brain dead, a vegetable, I don't know, but God is good as me. And I'm blessed. I always come up with more ideas and things to do because I'm bored. Well, I don't get bored, y'all, but... I, I can't go to work like I used to, so this is going to be my new thing, creating things. So, today, I recreated my old boot, as you can see. This is the other boot here that, uh, you know, I'm going to be working on with you guys to show you guys. And these are the products that I'm going to show you the boot first. So, this is the boot here. It's uh, got two chains, and it's a studded bottom fur boot. Yeah, I'm going to call these two chains. Huh? Two chains, studded bottom fur boot. How about that? But yeah, let me sit down on the side of me, why not? Yeah, so um, for this tutorial, you guys, you're going to need the fur, of course. And um, I even have, I thought I had them all, but I, of course, you guys, y'all should know, I cut out the perimeter. I always do like a tracing of the boot before I work on it. So this will be considered the back of the boot. And then you will sketch out the front part to make your situation a little bit more easier. So, this is, this would be right here, the front of the boot. You can see the little curve in it from the back half. So, you would just take your thing and you would apply it there. You would apply the paper like that, sketch it out on your fur. Apply it there like so. If this was the paper. And you would sketch it out. And then, that way, the fur would have the same shape. You would use the pattern. The paper would become your pattern. And you would shake that out on your fur so that it will fit perfectly without you having to go through too much. But yeah, so I have four pieces because I always do the bottom with two sides. I know I'm giving you guys tips that I shouldn't be, but it don't matter because I ain't a hater. I always share my tips. So yes, you guys, and then I'm going to be adding chain to the boot. Like I said, I got the chain from Home Depot, which was probably like 62 cents a foot. I know um, I got about... $3 worth of chain, which I'm not using all my chain today, but I am using about four pieces. And then I got these studs from the Dollar Tree, which these are just, you know, the gold brass studs, whatever the case, which I use to embellish the bottom of my boot. So, you guys, I'm going to uh, get started with this tutorial, and you guys can come along with me. Thank you. Alright you guys, so in this clip, you will need, also for this tutorial you guys, you will need your glue gun, some glue sticks, a scissor, or either a box cutter to cut out the fur, and um, that should be it, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, I know I'm always rushing through trying to talk to you guys and tell you what to do, but right here I'm going to take some glue and apply some to this angle right here to apply the chain first, I apply the chain first so that way the fur can cover that up. So I only went in about four lengths in on each side of the chain. Oops, well, my previous is quite low. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to apply the chain about four lengths in to the boot. That's what I did on the other side. I know I got that five more glue than that so that it can stick. <clears throat> I'm going to this, clean this off of here. Try to make sure your glue gun is clean because I work on mine a lot, so it's going to be messy. But yeah, so like I was saying, I applied some glue here, and then I put the chain link about four links in, and I just try to apply enough glue so that way I know that the chain won't hold. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but what I'm going to do is go some inches wider, so that way the chain can loop when it hangs back down after I put the part over this part. If you can understand me, but you'll see what I'm doing as I do it. So, yes, I'm going to take the second chain and I'm going to go on the outside part of this one. Just so it can have that loop effect when it drops back down. So, I'm going to do the same thing with this side. I'm going to go in about four 
Well, actually, I let this one hang a, a little bit more. So that way, you can have more room to hang. And then I'll probably just glue on the other side and do the same thing. Same technique. Just lay the chain there on the side of that one. And then it's going to fall back down. It's going to have an effect like that to fall back down once I put my fur, after I put my fur on. You'll see, you'll see. Follow me, follow me. That's going to be my favorite line. Follow me, follow me. So I'm going to take my first piece of fur, which goes over the front half of the boot. And if, as you can see, this line here, I lined up my fur with this, so that way it would make it easier for me to apply the fur. So the first half, I'm going to be applying right here along this edge here. I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to fill it in as much as possible just because I want the fur to hold for a long time, of course. <laughs> Why not make it last as long as you can? It's, you, it's your creation. You might want to look at it longer than you thought. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to apply this fur like so. Then I like to flip it back like this here. And I'm going to add more glue. Four. Hmm. I'm going to continue to apply glue. And it's still off. As I apply glue, then I'll cover it with the fur. Apply glue, cover it with the fur. Just so that way the, the fur will be, you know, won't be coming off. <laughs> like you'll be comfortable in your boot knowing. It's secure. You got you some boots, something like them Ugh, huh? Yeah, man. Well, less the amount of money. I'm always willing to save. Especially if it looks good still. Why not? Yeah. So it should look something like that when the chain drop back over it. You know? <laughs> but I'm not finished. So just keep gluing. Continue to glue. I'm going to hold this back over here. So y'all can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to continue to glue around the edge here at the top. Because this is where I don't want the fur to lift up at. As the boot, you know, gets worn. I don't want that fur to lift up. So, I'm going to make sure that I apply glue to that part. <clears throat> I'm going to flip the boot over. And I'm going to just run some along the very edge there. The, the middle part, the, should I say. The middle part. And make sure you press down on the fur. Just to make sure that it's sticking properly. And adhering to the boot. Let me say that. <laughs> Use some big words for y'all. It's uh, adhering properly to the boot. But yes, you guys. So I'll just push down on it. And it also helps to spread the glue further. So. Um. Can you help me back here? Uh, I have one hand, so I have to get a little assistance, you guys. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is try to fill all this part in here. And as much glue as I have. I got to add another glue stick, so I'm going to just push this in. Push that down. And then I'm going to flip it back up. This is my technique. Flip it back up. And then... Oh, I need to add another glue stick. I need to add another glue stick. Hold on, guys. Oh, my hand's starting to hold on to stuff. You see that, y'all? When you ain't paying attention to things, things work better. Hey, that's that therapy. Not physical therapy, but my own therapy that I do. I need to show y'all some of that stuff, too. Huh? But, yeah, I go through a lot, you guys. I barely sleep at night sometimes. Always in pain, but I'm always thinking. And I know one day I'm going to have everything that I need. And I ain't going to be in pain no more because I'm going to be in my jacuzzi. <laughs> in my poo. <laughs> so it's going to be like, when I'm hurting, I'm just going to go take a lap. You know? When I'm hurting, I'll go soak it off. Just have me a sauna, a jacuzzi, all those good things that I need for my health. Holistic lifestyle, that's what that's called. Holistic lifestyle, I can't wait to live one of those. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to start from the inside at the bottom here and apply the next piece. So it's, it's going to be a piece sort of like this here. The smaller piece, which I told you guys before, I had everything already cut out to know where it should go. 